I feel lucky? Well, do ya? Punk. You know where that's from. If you're watching this channel, you know movies, you know where that's from. And we got them all right here. We got the Dirty Harry Collection from Clint Eastwood. The Inspector Harry. <laughs> it's like Jacques Cousteau if you're in French. Except Clint Eastwood with a French accent. That'd be hilarious. I'd love to see that, actually. But yes, we got Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. All here. One big set on Blu-ray. And we're going to open it up to see what's going on inside. This is some classic, classic Clint Eastwood, classic action, classic police drama, action, grittiness. It is what we all strive for when it comes to action films. There's the front, there's the back, plenty there, you know what to do. And then this is a sort of a slip box type thing. I will pull out the actual disc. Um, it's sort of just folded over here, and then it goes back about about an inch, about an inch roughly. So it gives it a nice and it's pretty pretty heavy stock. So this is a pretty decent uh, uh, slip case box thingy. And here's the it is on this side. Here's the cover on this side. Uh, can you see the difference? Obviously, this one kind of looks like it's brown. This one's kind of looking gray, right? Um, that, I do believe, is just simply for because of where we are in the lighting. Because I think this is all just iridescent. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can get it in the gray. If I, yeah, there we go. We're shining the, the computer screen off of it, so we're getting more of a gray. This portion here, all the lettering is embossed. Nice and raised lettering. Uh, the lettering down here is not. And neither is the Blu-ray at the top. But, uh, yeah, way to make it stand out. Here's the slip again. Here's the back cover. Clearly differences there in everything. So, um, yeah, do I really have to point everything out? Um, obviously, this has got that iridescent shininess to it again. The metallics put on it with the reds. Um, everything. Everything on this has kind of got metallics except for the white lettering down here and such. That's just regular white, so you can read it. But the red actually is, so it, interesting that they did that there. But uh, on this side, I mean, it's a completely different format. We get um, all the names of the films and what are the extras contained in each disc, or for, with each movie. I don't know if they're all separate discs. Then down here we get all the people who are involved in each separate film. And then under that is the legal, um, right here. And then under that is the technical specs for all of the discs, movies, extras. Um, then we've got some more little legal stuff. And then we've got all of your um, information stuff. So, you know, it's Blu-ray uh, subtitles for the hearing impaired main feature only whether they're, you know, each movie, whether they're all in color and the, the length of the films, the ratings for all of the films, Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, and the Deadpool are all 18A. The Enforcer's 14A and Sudden Impact is rated R in Canada. That's not easy to do sometimes. So we also have Dolby True HD and Dolby Digital uh, logos here. So some of these are going to be one or the other. Um, but let's open this puppy up and uh, see what's going on inside. Boom. No inserts. Wow. Okay. So we, we're getting this jumbo pack here. I'm going to get all of my discs in order so that when I flip this stuff around, you can read them. So hopefully they're all in the proper order. We get Dirty Harry, we got some kind of disc art here. We get Blu-ray, Dirty Harry, nothing much else, Warner Brothers logo, and then some artwork. Again, nothing over nothing over here, oddly enough. Then we flip it over, we get Magnum Force. Magnum Force does give a Blu-ray logo. It's a little hard to read and see because it is black and there's a lot of black for it because you can see the gun. Um, uh, but then we go to the Enforcer over here. Let's get some more light going. Uh, again, you can get the Blu-ray logo, the Warner Brothers logo. 
Then we move on to Sudden Impact. It says the title of the movie here. Again, Blu-ray, Warner Brothers logo. Over here we got the Deadpool and Blu-ray logo and Warner Brothers logo. Not much else going on with these, but essentially they all have um, various close-ups of the gun. Um, and then I will pull a couple of these off here, show you they are pressed. There is no artwork on the back there. Again, a little surprising considering what this is. Um, not an eco case though, which is good. It would have been weird to have an eco case with all of these extra discs in there. That just would have been silly. Um, but, it, you know, anything's possible. But it was also nice to see that all of these movies are on separate discs and the discs are pressed. So, yeah. Um, can't really complain about too much here. Uh, could, could they have done more? Sure. Could they have done less? Sure. Could have put all of these on like two discs or something. You know, shoved them all on there and compressed them out, you know, all out the wazoo and given us garbage, but no. Instead, we get Warner Brothers Clint Eastwood Di Dirty Harry Collection with all five films in all their glory. So, yeah, let me know if you've seen the Dirty Harry films. I'm sure you have. What did you think about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Has it been a while? It's been a while since I've actually watched all of them. Um, and in fact, I think outside of Dirty Harry and the Deadpool, I think the other three, I've maybe only, I've maybe only seen them once or twice. Um, Dirty Harry I've seen probably four or five times. and the De I may have seen the Deadpool more, oddly enough. I don't know why. I just think I may have... For, I, for some reason, I kind of remember the Deadpool playing on television somewhat regularly. I, I don't know. I could be wrong there, but such is life, right? Um, yeah. Anyways, looking to get into this, start watching me some Dirty Harry again and go through them because it's about time I revisited the Dirty Harry films. Anyways, comment down below. Keep it spoiler-free. Let me know what you've seen, what you haven't, what you want to see, what you thought about it. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Till next video, take care. Have a good one.